Have you ever thought, man, I really want to animate on my phone or my iPad slash tablet? What a hard life I have. I've made multiple story time animations on my channel, so I think it's time I make a tutorial. Basically, I want views. A lot of people use Flip a Clip to animate. It's free. This is your cue to download Flip a Clip. Once Flip a Clip is downloaded, then open the app. I've got some projects here. If you want to create your own project, then tap the plus button at the bottom of the screen. You're going to want to create a very professional name for your project. For an ongoing background in the animation, tap this and you can get a color wheel. And you can select any color you want and boom, it'll be the background for the whole animation. If you want to select an image from your device, then tap here and you'll be met with a variety of images from your camera roll. So many choices. I think I'm going to go with this one though. And now it's the ongoing background for the project, although I'll just, I'm just gonna make it white. I do YouTube 1080p as size. As for frames per second, which is the amount of frames you draw for each second, I think anything under 12 looks like dog shit. Although I personally like using 24. Currently, you would need to draw 24 frames to make one second. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Whatever suits your animation style, etc., and what you want to do, how hard you want to work, etc. Ah, I'm speaking so fast. Ah. Tap create project. What? I like using the pen. It's pretty cool. You can adjust the size and you can change the color. Using the rubber, you can kill things. You can change the size, the opacity, how transparent it is, etc. Using the selection tool, you can move characters, stretch them out, squish them around. Yeah, just basic movement. My next video, if I wanted to move a character, I could just like move them. Using the bucket tool, I can give things color. Well, for text, you just add text. You can change the font along with the size. Whoa. Guys, guess what? I'm more straight than this align. That wasn't very straight. However, you can use the ruler tool to make a straight line. See, I told you guys, I'm not gay. I'm just attracted to men. You can make circles or you can make squares. And to turn it off, just tap this. Boom, and now it's back to normal. If you wanted to copy something, you just select, tap this, which is the copy button. Then on the next frame, paste. Boom, oh, look, two of them. Or you could just do it on the same frame. Copy, paste. Tap undo to undo something, and to redo, just tap redo. Well done. If you moved your canvas around a bunch like this, then tap this to go back to its original position. If you tap the three dots, then you'll be met with the onion skin. What that does is, if you go on the next frame, you can see the frame you did beforehand. So you can see where it was, basically. You can turn it off or on if you want. Grid to make sure everything lines up. Add image. So many images to choose from. Oh my god. Yeah, you can just add images. And then you can export your movie here. Play buttons. So you can play your project. Yeah. <laughs> All the layers. You can manage your layers. For my next video, I have a lot of layers over 10. Basically, everything is drawn on separate layers to make sure everything's split up and nicely done so you can move them easily. For example, Jack's World. Look, I can move it. Also, you can hide layers and you can also delete them. To add frames, tap the plus button. You can hold on to them if you want to delete them. For this animation, I'm going to record some audio and yeah, tap the music icon right here on the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Yeah. Tap the microphone in the middle and then press down and record. I'm a proud alcoholic. I'm a proud alcoholic. I'm a proud alcoholic. Oh yeah, because I'm a proud alcoholic. Yeah. Yeah, that will do. For the audio, you're going to want to trim down some bits. Just so there's no breathing sounds. This will do. You don't want to be like Pedro Animates, do you? <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my animas animation <laughs> channel. Yeah, I didn't think so. So now there's no breathing sounds at the start, so it can sound very nice. I'm a proud alcoholic. I'm All right, this is ready for us to animate. Let's do that. I've got some character assets ready all on different layers. So yeah, we're all set. I'm currently working on a smear frame. I'm using the onion skin of the 
frame before to see where the smear frame would position for the next frame. Smear frames are used in animation quite a lot. They help make it look better overall and they go by very fast so the human eye can't even make them out. <laughs> now that my smear frame is ready, I'm just gonna select it and move it all the way over here as the animation begins. I like making the smear frame last a bit longer on screen just because I feel like that adds to the smoothness a bit. It starts up. I'm a pro I'm a crowd alcohol. I animate the head on a separate layer to the body. So that's that's the first frame of the head. I'm gonna go move it up slightly and then to the side. So then as a result, I get that slidey effect. It's up, slide. Then I'll do the same thing except in reverse. Down, slide. Down. Slide. There we go. I'm a, I'm a crap. I'm a. That's some movement right there. I'll copy and paste this a tad. Proud. I'll, as he says, proud. I'm gonna make him go down a tad. You don't want to make it too far away from the original frame. I adjusted it a bit and I added in arms. Here's a smear frame from an arm. It lasts three frames. Bop, bop, bop. And then it adds that little bounce effect. <laughs> so this is what the animation looks like so far. I'm a proud alcoholic. It's nowhere near my best work, but it's a tutorial, so I don't want it to be too confusing for people who are just beginning. When I first learned how to lip sync, I searched up on Google, lip sync chart. And nothing else! So I drew them out in my own style, and then I memorized what sounds needed them. It's all about practice, and I like copy and pasting mouts to save time. Alright, let's play the animation with lip sync. I'm, I'm a proud, proud alcoholic. alcoholic. Looks pretty stiff. Luckily, I watched an old awesome video. Great YouTuber, by the way. And he talked about adding bounces to the lip sync. Oh my god! So, let's do that. It starts with I'm, so we use the open tongue mouth. I'm. And you can scrub through the audio. The L mouth goes down, and then we bring this tongue mouth, and then bring it up a bit, so that it adds that bounce effect. And to finish the animation, we get this, and then add a little bounce effect to make it go down, and boom. I'm a proud alcoholic. I'm a proud alcoholic. Tap the three dots and press make movie. I'm not gonna have the flip a clip watermark because I paid for the pro version, but you know, the free is still fine. Making movie, and then tap save to photos. I use Ibis Paint X and Procreate to draw assets, backgrounds, and thumbnails for my videos. What a great thumbnail. And for editing, I use InShot. Now you know how to animate.